Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahushai, by Shem, Rakak, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching this truth time and time again, showing us to be men, men of the Lord. So, Wada Yahweh, by Shem, Yahushai, by Shem, Rakak, and I'm the brother of Thaha Wam, and um, it's a double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And um, this is uh, we just had the Passover, and um, as brothers worship, hopefully they had, I um, mean, you know, a righteous sacrifice doing the, uh, the um, worthy to eat the Passover, worthy to be able to have it, but most brothers have, like, just worthy, and you see that everyone else in the world, they weren't, they, they're still eating, you know, because it's the Feast of Unleavened Bread, they're still eating uh, bread right now, they didn't take it out, they're not doing, or thinking about the the heavy time that Yahweh Shai had to go through, or our people had to go through, through the pastures of the Passover. They're just still going back and going back to Egypt. You see what our people do. Food stamps is about to be getting, uh, about to get cut. Uh, prophecy is going and going and going. And you see the Egypt is, it, it, it's, it's through. America, Babylon, the greatest through. But our people still, so this is what, we're going to just going to scriptures on it. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe unto them that go to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen. So they see that Babylon the Great, so-called America, is not going to fall. They think that any trouble they get in, they can just go to food stamps or go to welfare or all that stuff or Esau is going to cry for Esau like these protests and all that stuff to give them uh, equal because they see that Babylon the Great has a huge army has a huge thing uh, a huge army has a huge um like uh uh resources to uh, uh provide to the world is the uh, is the world power their horsemen because they are very strong they look Onto, they look not onto the Holy One of Israel, neither do they seek the Lord. So a lot of our people, they don't even seek the Lord. They're not even understanding that all these curses are now falling upon uh, uh, these Egyptians. These people are going back. So we don't get it. Yet he is also wise and he will bring evil and he will not call back his words, but will arise the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Because... The Lord is putting these curses on these uh, Edom. They're about to, they're really going to get judged because of all the evil they have done to us. But our people don't understand. They're still going to. Now, the Egyptians are men. So, you know, how uh, even uh, the modern-day Egyptian, is, uh, these Americans, they're men. Even if they like it and think they're gods, uh, sitting in a place that say that they are God, well, they're not. They're men. The horses are flesh. Uh with these battleships and all this stuff, it's made by I mean, it's made by human hands. They're not like how the chariots, the fourth dimensional vehicles, the Lord has created, and the Lord gave them this technology. They're not spirit, for the Lord has stretched out His hand, and both help shall fall, and holding shall fall down, and they shall fail. For thus said the Lord. Spoken unto me, like as a lion and a young, uh, as a lion, the young lion roared on his play. And when a multitude of shepherds is called forth of him, he was not afraid of their voice, nor abased himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down and fight for Zion and for the hill. As a flying bird, so is the Lord of hosts defending Jerusalem, defending him. He will deliver him and pass over him, uh, pass, I mean, passing over him, he will preserve thee. He, he's going to rescue us. He's using it. He's uh, showing these heathen that he's in the midst. He's showing them that he's here, you know, with the plays that go all through the world. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter five, verse one. Then I turn and lift up my eyes and look. Behold, a flying roe, and he and he said unto him, a flying roe. So uh, when they were seeing this, this is Zechariah, when he's seen this, 
he, it, they didn't understand, like, they didn't, it wasn't a word, UFO, they were describing what he's seen, a flying robot, and he said unto me, what thou seest, and I answer, I see a flying row, the length of 20 cubits and the bread of their 10 cubits. So on this, I'm not sure if these are the correct. Uh, on a, I don't know what a cubit is. On the blue letter, it says 30, but I'm not sure. The inshell, because I know the cubit has to do with uh, the height of men, and men were a little bigger back then. The inshell, he, then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth of uh, the face of the whole earth for Every one that stealeth shall be cut off on the side accorded to it, and every one that answers shall be cut off as the side accorded. And you have been seeing it been like the Esau been trying to hide, but you seen the stars. They saying that it was Jupiter and fucking uh, Venus, and but it's still there. They said it was gonna be two days beforehand, but it's still there. And there's a lot more stars in the sky, and then it's a lot more anticular clouds. So these chariots is the curse of everyone scared. And now certain situations are happening. So we're going into what's happening. As you know, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7, and the Lord thy God will put all the curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute me. So there's a lot of videos uh, going around because this is a, a, a video I have. My phone's not me messing up, so I have to do it like this. But there have been a lot of videos of like a, a, a Edomite getting caught stealing and had to get all their stuff thrown, uh, thrown out and kicked out. These curses are going to get in upon our enemies. They're starting to hate each other more. You see the Ukrainian war, which is, uh, they're starting to get caught in their lies. They're getting, uh, they're, you see more Edomites homeless. You see more judgment, um, against these people. This is what the Lord is doing. He's putting the curses, uh, uh the put on for them. He's showing them these chariots too. He's showing them uh, is a curse upon the whole earth. And then all the things on um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 is now starting to get upon them. They're starting to get a holes in their pockets. They're starting to see that they're through. They're through. And reason why He's, Esau has no had no mercy. This is a uh, Psalm chapter thirty seven verse seven. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, in the days of Jerusalem, who said, "Race it, race it, even to the foundations thereof." So, when we were getting uh taken into captivity by the Babylonians, the Edomites helped. They said, "Destroy them, destroy them." Burn them, burn them, uh, level the ground. Oh, uh, this is what they eat them. They had put, and then when they got us in captivity, they really took advantage of it. They had no mercy upon us and say, uh, let no mercy be upon them that had no mercy. So this is what's going to happen. Oh, daughter of Edom, verse eight, who are thou? To be destroyed. Happy shall he be that awardeth thee that has served us. So, of course, it's as happy as thee that awarded thee as thou served us. So you you had straight no mercy upon us after we built your society through the curses. Mind that. So now when these curses get on us, we're gonna be happy. We're like, when was it when we, man? I was almost teary eyed when we were seeing those uh, that Udemite video. <laughs> they steal it. So get it served, and now they can't get away. And now everyone sees who they are, see who Edom is, bear. Like they see what a devil that person is. And they're, this new uh, Edomite privilege is not anymore. Happy shall it be that taketh thee and dashes thy little ones against a stone. Happy. Shall we be when we pick up the little ugly red babies and slam them into the ground, slam them into the, anything? Happy are we going to be because 10 things of a man has joy of. Uh, it's in the Sirach. I'm, I'm not going to pull it. But um, Sirach, uh, 
a man that sees the of the fall of his enemy is one of those ten things. So we're gonna be screaming. It's not. We're not gonna like you know. We're not gonna blame. Oh, you know, we're gonna really be rejoicing when we take Edom down in Obadiah one and eighteen. But after that thousand years of slavery, that's what we're. That's what we really need. Um. Is what they have done, what all the evil they have done to our people. But the Lord has made Esau bear. And you know, they're they're the Assyrians. So I'm just say, oh Ra, oh, let me go. This is I'm gonna start at three, and I'm gonna go to, uh, to five, and then I'm gonna drop down. This is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 3. And what will ye do in the day of thy visitation and in the desolation will shall come from far to whom, from whom, this is lucky that I'm just pointing, from far to whom ye flee for help and where you left your glory without me, thou shalt bow down under the prisoners, and thou shalt fall under sling. For all his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, the staff of the Lord's indignation, which is the modern day Edomites. They, they're the new Assyrians. But they did it, but they took it. Uh, so that's what Esau has to do. They, they, the Lord used Esau as a whooping stick, but they have took it way too far. So this is what the Lord says. Verse 12, drop down to 12. Wherefore shall come to pass that when the Lord has performed his whole work on the Mount of Zion and on a Jerusalem, the punishment that we have did, that we were going to go into slavery, we we're going to go into our hands of our enemies. I will punish the fruit of the stout, and the heart of the king of Assyria, and the glory is on high look. So he's going to punish them for doing it too. That's what the Lord said. This is Isaiah chapter, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. And then that people shall take thee and bring them to peace, and the house of Israel shall Possess the land of thy Lord for the servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captive, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So this is what's going to happen to Esau. Oh, he's cursing. You're going to be in slavery, Esau. And it shall come to pass in the day the Lord shall give thee rest from their sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage where they were have served. So when these curses are getting on our enemies, uh, it's getting less. It's coming to the time that the Lord is going to deliver us out of this situation. He's going to put us and give us, uh, 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 we're going to have to go through hell. The closer it is, the worse it's going to get. But when the hour shine comes, it's going to be a relief. Then shall they take up a proverb against the king of Babylon saying, how has the oppressor ceased and the golden city has ceased? So now everyone looks like, dang, Babylon is through. Babylon is through. This whole B system is through. It, it's done. It's done data. And the king of Babylon, uh, you know, we uh, curses, the curse is going to, we were by word. Well, we, we don't even know what, you know, because they were calling us niggas, spicks, and all that stuff. And we, uh, we don't even know the new names. We don't, because, you know, Jay's creative. Like, well, is, I know it's going to be something that has to be doing these, their red asses, I mean, like, because they're going to be burning up in the sun when they're in that slavery. The Lord has brought a staff on the wicked and a skeptical of their rulers. They uh, break in their rule and they smoke the people with wrath with a continuous stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger and per, uh, per, persecution, none hinder. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth and sing. So that's what it's going to do. We're singing when these we put these beast men into slavery. Ye, the fir tree rejoices, and the cedars of Levi singing. Shall thou, I mean, since thou laid down, no feller shall cut them down. So even the earth and the animals are going to rejoice. The trees are going to rejoice because it's like, dang, I'm going to finally be back on an earth that is productive. An earth that can bring forth life 
hell from beneath, move from thee, meet thee, and coming. I'm going to just drop down, but you know, this is this is the chapter against Esau. The pomp, uh, verse 11, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 11. The pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of the vows, the worms spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. So that pride is going to go, and you're going to just see death and rotting. How thou hast fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How thou cut down. I want to see that. How thou cut down to the ground, which thou weaken the nations. So how the, 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 this place is fallen. It's going to fall. They're going to say Babylon has fallen, has fallen when those newts come. But you see that this place is getting weaker and weaker. You're like everyone knows Esau has been made bare. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit. Also on t upon the mount, mount of the congregation in the side of the north. So they were saying that they were going to do everything. They were going to fight the Lord. They were going to just be in rulership forever as transcendent robots. Well, nope. I will ascend above the highest of clouds, and I will be like the most high. See, this is what made you. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell in the side of the pits. And thou shalt see thee, shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider saying, Is this the man that made the herb tremble? And that's when they'll start giving you those bywords. Like, look at this nigga. Uh, the real niggar that did shake kingdoms, thou made the world a wilderness and destroyed the city. Therefore, open not the house of the prisoner. All the kings of the nations, even them, lie in glory, every one of his own house. So this is what... Happen to you goddamn devils. You guys are going to be destroyed because a couple. The fuck? No. Babylon. Fuck you. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 30. The Lord said, I mean, thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took captive held them fast and refused to let them go. So they never let him go. The Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall plead thy cause, their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. And the sword is upon the Chaldeans, said the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, unto her princes and unto her men. This is um, I, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to the inhabitants of the Chaldeans all the evils that they have done unto Zion in your sight, said the Lord. See, all the evils they have done, gonna, he's going to put down and put forth on you goddamn devils. That's what's going to happen. And you're going to be judged. It's lucky I have to get ready for work, so I have to rush. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou dwellest in the land of Uz. The, the cup shall, shall pass unto thee, unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. So this slavery is coming upon you demons and that's why these curses are putting on it just getting ready of what is going to be going through your mind when slavery is upon you and the punishments of thy iniquities is accomplished O daughter of zion and he will no more carry thee away into captivity and he will visit thy iniquities O daughter of edom and he will discover thy sins so he's, you know, uh, the, we're going to get out of this and we're going to set up a kingdom in edom the daughter of Edom, you're going to slave. You're going to be a slave forever and ever and ever and ever until a thousand years. 
Like, because you're going to have aspiration and slock you. You're going to, after a thousand years, you're going to be destroyed. Obadiah 1 and 18, which is Bible prophecy. This is a reason why, last one, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10, for thy, bro for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. That's what it is. When we say 1 and 18, we mean in this, and the house of Jacob shall be a flame, and the house of jo me, uh, Jacob me, shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of evil stubble. They shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be able to remain in the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. You're going to be destroyed. So, so with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem, Rekha, Kodash, the water Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shalom.